Have you ever wondered who would win in a battle between a rhino and an elephant? Welcome to another episode of our Animal Comparison Series. Today, we journey into the vast African savanna, where two titans clash to determine who holds the crown of brute strength, the elephant or the rhinoceros. The elephant, with its imposing size and mighty tusks, represents grandeur and intelligence. On the other hand, the rhinoceros, armored and powerful, embodies resilience and determination. Both of these mammals play essential roles in the savanna ecosystem, yet their lifestyles and dietary patterns differ significantly. While the elephant primarily feeds on grass and foliage, the rhinoceros is known for its herbivorous diet focused on hardier plants. Two titans of the savanna, each with its unique features. Who will win the crown of brute strength? To understand who might come out on top we first need to look at their unique characteristics. Let's start with the elephant, a true titan of the animal kingdom. Their sheer size is awe-inspiring with adult males reaching up to 13 feet in height and weighing as much as 6 tons, but it's not just their size that's impressive. Elephants are renowned for their long powerful tusks, which can grow up to 7 feet in length. These tusks, made of durable ivory, serve as vital tools for foraging, digging, and of course, defense. On the other side of this heavyweight match, we have the rhinoceros. Rhinos are smaller than elephants with males typically standing around 6 feet tall and weighing up to 2.5 tons, but don't let their smaller stature fool you. Rhinos are built like armored tanks, with a thick protective skin that can withstand the harshest of attacks. Their most distinctive feature however is their horn. Made of keratin, the same material as our hair and nails, a rhino's horn can grow up to 5 feet long and is used for both defense and demonstrating dominance. Now, let's talk strength. An elephant's trunk, a unique fusion of the nose and upper lip, is incredibly powerful and versatile. It can lift heavy weights, uproot trees, and even show affection. On the other hand, a rhino's might is concentrated in its head, which it uses like a battering ram to charge at threats and rivals. Interestingly, both these creatures have poor eyesight, but make up for it with excellent hearing and sense of smell, which are crucial for their survival in the wild. So, how do these characteristics stack up in a face-off? The elephant's size and tusks against the rhino's armor and horn? The powerful trunk versus the battering ram? Both the elephant and the rhino are well equipped for survival, but how do these characteristics play out in a head-to-head -head battle? Apart from their physical characteristics, their lifestyle and dietary habits also play a significant role in their survival. Let's take a closer look at these two titans of the savanna. The elephant, being the largest land mammal, has a diet that matches its size. It spends up to 16 hours a day eating a variety of vegetation, from grass and foliage to fruits and bark. This herbivorous diet provides the elephant with the necessary fuel to maintain their massive size and strength. On the other hand, the rhinoceros, though smaller than the elephant, is no less impressive. It's known for its preference for tougher plants. They are browsers, meaning they eat leaves, branches and shrubs, as well as some types of fruits and flowers. This diet, rich in fiber and low in protein, provides the rhino with the necessary nutrients to develop its thick skin and robust body. It's fascinating to see how these dietary habits shape their physical attributes. The elephant's diverse diet contributes to its impressive size and strength, enabling it to uproot trees and push over trunks when food is scarce. Meanwhile, the rhino's diet of tougher plants helps it develop and maintain its thick skin and powerful body, preparing it for any challenges it may face in the wild. Both the elephant and the rhino are herbivores, yet their dietary preferences reflect their unique survival strategies. The elephant's diet is varied and flexible, allowing it to adapt to different environments and food availability. The rhino, on the other hand, has a more specialized diet, which helps it thrive in its specific habitat. These dietary habits not only contribute to their survival in the savanna but also play a crucial role in their interactions with each other and the environment. The food they consume, the hours they spend foraging and the way they use their strength to gather food all contribute to their overall fitness and readiness for potential challenges. These dietary habits affect their survival in the savanna, but how would they influence a direct confrontation? Now let's visualize a direct confrontation between an elephant and a rhino. Who would emerge victorious in a head-to-head -head showdown? Picture this. The sun is setting on the vast African savanna. The air is thick with tension. Two titans of the animal kingdom, the elephant and the rhino, stand apart, sizing each other up. Each is a formidable force in its own right. Each has its own unique strengths and strategies. First, let's consider the elephant. Its chief weapons are its size and its tusks. Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. 
with some males reaching up to 13 feet in height. That's nearly two and a half times the average height of a man. Their tusks, made of solid ivory, can grow up to seven feet long and are capable of causing severe damage. Now consider the rhino. They may be smaller than elephants, but they are no less formidable. An adult rhino can weigh up to 5,000 pounds, and they have a tough, armored skin that protects them from most threats. Their chief weapon is their horn, which can grow up to 5 feet long and is sharp enough to pierce even the thick hide of an elephant. In a direct confrontation, the elephant might try to use its size and strength to overpower the rhino. They could attempt to use their tusks to gore the rhino, but the rhino's tough skin and strong body could withstand the attack. On the other hand, the rhino might try to use its speed and agility to outmaneuver the elephant. They could attempt to charge at the elephant using their horn as a spear, but the elephant's size and strength could make it difficult for the rhino to land a critical blow. Strategy and tactics would undoubtedly play a crucial role in such a confrontation. An elephant, with its superior size and strength, might try to intimidate the rhino, trumpeting loudly and flapping its ears. The rhino on the other hand might try to use its speed and agility to dodge the elephant's attacks and strike at its vulnerable areas. In a battle of brute strength it's tough to predict the outcome. The elephant has the advantage of size and strength but the rhino has the advantage of speed and agility. Both have powerful weapons at their disposal and both are highly resistant to damage. But surely the one with better strategy and tactics will have an edge. The elephant with its intelligence and social nature might be able to outsmart the rhino. The rhino, with its aggression and single-minded focus, might be able to overpower the elephant. In the end, a confrontation between an elephant and a rhino would be a spectacle of nature's raw power and beauty. But let's remember, these majestic creatures are not enemies, but co-inhabitants of our shared planet, each playing a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Let's take a moment to appreciate these incredible animals, not for their potential for confrontation, but for their unique contributions to the natural world. As we draw this comparison to a close, it's important to remember one thing. Both the elephant and the rhinoceros, these majestic titans of the savanna, each play a vital role in the intricate tapestry of wildlife. Their distinctive characteristics, lifestyles, and dietary habits all contribute to the equilibrium of the ecosystem, shaping the landscapes in which they live. The elephant, with its grand stature and intelligent demeanor, not only shapes the environment by pruning the trees and shrubs, but also plays a crucial role in seed dispersal, fostering biodiversity. On the other hand, the rhinoceros, a symbol of endurance and determination, grazes on tougher plant species, controlling the vegetation and preventing overgrowth, thus maintaining a balanced ecosystem. However, both these magnificent creatures face threats from habitat loss and human activities. It's here that our role comes into play. We, as humans, hold the power and responsibility to protect these extraordinary beings and the habitats they call home. Conservation isn't just about saving individual species. It's about preserving the intricate web of life that sustains us all. Every creature, no matter how small or large, plays a part in this grand scheme. And when one species is threatened, the entire system is at risk. We must promote sustainable practices, engage in active conservation efforts, and educate ourselves and others about the importance of biodiversity. It's not merely about preserving the beauty and wonder of nature for future generations, but ensuring the survival and prosperity of our own species as well. While it's fascinating to imagine these titans clashing, our role as guardians of this planet is to promote conservation and work together to preserve the natural habitats that allow such extraordinary creatures to thrive. Our future, and the future of the elephants and rhinoceroses, depends on our actions today. Let's make sure we're making the right choices. So, that's all from Discovery Wonder. See you next time, and follow the channel.